Hey everyone, in this lesson, we are going to be looking at how we can set up OpenAI and get ourselves a key, which we can use in order to communicate with the API over in Unity. So to begin, you want to go over to the openai.com website right here, and we are gonna click on the login button at the top right. Or if you wanna sign up, you can click on sign up. But if you click login, this will allow you to log in with a Google account, Microsoft or Apple account, okay? Or you can choose to sign up um, with your email. But I'm gonna log in with Google, so I'll click continue with Google and select my Google account. Now, once you have gone through the setup process, uh, you may need to enter your phone number and solve a couple verifications. Um, it may show you this screen and we are going to click on API because that is what we want. Now here on the platform dashboard, uh, what we first of all need to do is go and generate a key. Now to do this, we want to go up to the top right corner where it says personal and go down to where it says view API keys. Now in this window here is where we can create a new secret key. So we can just click on that button right there and it is going to ask us to give it a name. You can if you want. Um, I'm just going to call this one AI NPCs. We can then click create secret key and that's going to generate us a brand new key which we can copy by clicking on this button right here and click done. Now keep a hold of this because we will be needing it once we actually start setting up our Unity project um, but you can always come back here and edit the key in order to copy it again. Now, when you do make requests to the OpenAI service, it is going to cost you, although um, when you create an account, you do get some funds given to you by default. So if you go over on the left-hand side here to usage, you should see here um, basically how much you are spending on your API calls. Now, the free trial, which is what uh, you, you're probably going to be on when you set it up, is going to give you uh, some money to be using, okay, which is pretty cool. So you're able to do some API calls, but do keep an eye on this as this number can rise up uh, depending on the amount you are using the API, of course. And if you do want to add more, you can go over down to billing and set up the payment method right here. And that is pretty much it. So we have our API key and we should now be ready to set up our Unity project. Welcome back everyone. In this lesson, we are going to be setting up our OpenAI package for Unity. Because in order to communicate with the OpenAI servers, we need basically a way of feeding in information such as our request for um, an AI generated chat completion, and we need a way of sending it over. Now we could just do this straight with an API request, although with the amount of information we need to send over, uh, it's gonna get quite convoluted on our side. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna use one of the community made uh, GitHub repositories, which have all of this stuff already set up for us. So we need to do, so we can just plug it straight into our project. Now, what I want you to do is there should be a link in the course files tab to this GitHub repository, and this is what we are going to be using, okay? So if we scroll down, you'll see that there is a how to use, and pretty much we just want to copy this URL right here. We then want to go back to Unity. We then want to open up Window, Package Manager. Now in the Package Manager, we want to click on the plus at the top left corner of the screen and go Add Package from Git URL. We're going to paste in that URL and Unity is basically going to download this GitHub repository and install it into our Unity project. So click add, that's going to go ahead and do that. And once that is done, we should have this OpenAI Unity package installed. And as you can see, it should do that pretty quickly. And there we go. Now, the next thing we need to do is actually set up our credentials or saving our credentials, okay? Because the way this package works is that we don't really paste our API key into the Unity editor. Uh, to keep it a bit more safe, what we do is actually store it inside of a JSON file on our computer. So what we need to do is open up our file explorer and at the top search bar here, we are just going to navigate to our home directory. So we can do this pretty easily by just going percent app data percent, hitting enter. And then at the top here, you should see your name where uh, after users. So just click on your name and we should be in this folder right here. Now, if you are on Mac or Linux, you just want to do the tilde 
and backslash in order to navigate here. Now, inside of this directory, what we want to do is create a folder. So I'm going to right click, go new folder, and I'm going to call this one dot open AI. Okay, it's very important that it is called this specifically because this is the folder that our package is going to be looking for. So we can create that right there. We can then open it up and inside of this folder, we need to basically store our key as a JSON file. Now to do that, I'm going to open up Notepad right here, okay, or any other text editing software. And what we're going to do is basically have uh, a JSON format with an API key field. So we're going to have an opening bracket, go down and create a closing bracket. And in between these two, we are going to press tab to basically move in a bit, or you don't have to, but I like doing it this way. Um, and then in between two quotation marks, we want to have API underscore key, and then a colon afterwards. And then we want to have two more quotation marks. And in between these is where we are going to paste our secret key like so, okay? Now that we have that, we can go control S to save. And we then want to navigate over to our open AI folder. And we want to save this as A-U-T-H, so auth dot JSON, J-S-O-N. And make sure you are not saving it as a .txt. It has to save as a .json. So we need to change the save type to all files and then click save. Now, if we go back to that folder, you should see that the type is of JSON. And now our uh, SDK, our API key is connected to the package. So we can return to Unity and in the next lesson, start making some API calls. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all then.